Pins for DeMar's fourth quarter play? Yeah, I mean, he was incredible. Um, you know, it's, it's, it, w- it was hard. You know, I was just trying to – he said he felt fine. <laughs> you know, he had, he had a, you know, two days, one on his own where, you know, we couldn't do anything. And then yesterday's practice and, you know, I was checking with him. I think he probably wanted to be out there a little bit more. But, I mean, I think coming back off what he came back off of going into three and four, um, just pretty amazing what he did being out, missing games. Um, having two days and then, you know, just his, his, his mental toughness and his heart, uh, his competitive spirit, um, it's pretty amazing what he did. You know, I know we obviously had a huge fourth quarter, but even the entire game, um, you know, just his shot making ability when, when we needed buckets, when the guy, game was kind of, you know, had him on the bench and we're trying to, you know, maybe steal a few minutes there, you know, cause I, I thought we'd maybe with him out, have a tough time scoring and, you know, we we were okay there. We got down by three, came back in, and then obviously um, really, really steadied us quite a bit. Did, he, um, did you signal to him or he to you about, you know, Zach not being there fourth quarter? You know, he and Zach have been sort of a tag team that, you know, maybe have to do a little more? No, not really. Um, you know, he's, he's always good, I think, to more of – reading the defense, you know, I think he's a very, very willing passer. You know, tonight he obviously was incredible offensive, but I think if you go back to the Brooklyn game, even late when he had it and they kind of came over and provided help and he found Lonzo for a three, um, he was able to get to his spots, you know, and you're going to live with that because he's done it for so long, such a high level, um, but didn't really talk to him about all at anything, you know, any of the guys like, listen, Zach's not here. You got to do more. I, I think it's really you know, Sam, the responsibility of the group to kind of lift this up. He, he really had it going and wanted to keep the ball in the middle of the floor in his hands and, and let him try to make some plays, um, you know, from those spots. And he, he finds ways to get to the areas of the floor that he wants to get to where he feels comfortable. Yeah, it seemed like, especially in the end, you had really some key second effort plays. Yeah. You got your free throws, got in the ball too. And, yeah. and also it looked like Vucevic got in the middle and deflected a lot of things. Would you see? That? Yeah, no, I, I I think we did. I thought we, you know, I, I I didn't know what to expect tonight just with so many guys being out and then limited amount of time together. Um, I was really, you know, we had some sloppy moments. I thought in the first half we really competed hard. The third quarter we were really, I thought, we almost looked fatigued and rusty a little bit. I knew there was going to be some moments like that. I don't really fault them at all. I think we talked about that going into the game. Like, listen, there's going to be some probably some moments – of taking a week, we're not doing anything that we're probably not going to play at the level we expect to, but we got to keep fighting and battling, competing. And I thought that third quarter, we got really choppy. And I thought the first half, I was really, really, really pleasantly surprised because I didn't know what to expect. And I thought we played really, really good basketball on offense. We had a couple breakdowns uh, defensively, but, you know, overall, I think for the guys, having the number of guys we had out for them to come back and respond the way that I thought was an impressive effort. And they really competed and they battled and they hung in the game and they kept fighting. What do you think about DeMar is rubbing off on the rest of the team? Anything that, that he does or the way he carries himself or anything like that rub off on them? I mean, they, they you probably have to ask DeMar that. I mean, I think all these guys have really developed – really good relationships, good open lines of communication. He just, um, you know, I, I, I think for our guys, when the ball's in his hands, there's a calmness. There's, this is just calmness to him. He doesn't get rattled. I think he's been in so many of these moments throughout his life in his career. Um, I think things slow down for him. I think he knows exactly what he has to get done, what needs to get done. Um, and then he, you know, finds ways to, you know, just stay totally locked in. I mean, it's really an incredible, uh, you know, gift that he has. And I'm sure it's something that he's worked on, you know, over the years that he's developed. But I think there's a real calmness there. You know, the ball's in his hands. And you know what? He's going to make the right play. He's going to get to his spot. And he's going to generate a good shot for himself or he's going to find the open man. I mean, that's the way he plays. And like I said to Sam earlier, I think there's been a number of games where, you know, he necessarily hasn't shot the ball, where he's gotten someone else an open look. And, you know, listen, he he was spectacular. I thought Lonzo was really good in the first half. He carried us. He made shots. I thought Vooch got off to a good shot. It was good to see him kind of get back in the rhythm. I mean, everybody really, really contributed in a lot of different ways. But obviously his performance and what he did, you know, uh, the end of the third and then the end of the fourth was 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 pretty, pretty amazing. Did you get an update on Derek Jones' hamstring? The only thing, yeah, I just, I just knew it was a hamstring. I think when he, when he slid, um, that's unfortunate. I don't know how severe it is. I'll probably find out a little bit more. Um, 
I don't know what his availability would be like tomorrow. Billy, would you? It seems like a more physical day tonight. Um, than I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. It, it seemed a little bit more physical tonight, especially that first half seemed like a real challenge, especially coming off a, a week off. Just kind of what was that like tonight and how was it important for your team to be able to kind of stand up to that? Yeah, I mean, um, they've got physical players. LeBron is obviously incredibly explosive and strong and physical. Russell, strong and physical. Carmelo's a strong physical post-up player. DeAndre Jordan. Um, so, you know, again, I think they're battling some of the same things we're battling. Um, like I said, I, I, I didn't think it was pre, you know, <laughs> throughout the course of the game. But I thought our guys really battled and competed and stayed together. And DeMar was incredible, um, you know, coming down the stretch. Uh, but I think our guys knew going into the game it was going to be a battle. It was going to be a physical game. And I just was really impressed with the way they continued to fight and compete.